sir, baby. We live. We back. Welcome. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome in general. This is the Golden Goose DFS show. I'm your host, Chandler Blakely, a.k.a. Goose. We specialize in single entry, three max, and content. So if that's your particular style of play, man, you found one of the best spots you can possibly land in. Even if it's not, if you just play NFL and NBA DFS in general, you find one of the best spots you can land in. Trust me, you want to be subscribed. You want to have your notification bell on so you know when the videos and content drop. Also, do me one small favor. Hit that like button for your boy, man. It's greatly appreciated. It helps the channel grow. Thank you. I appreciate you tuning in. This is my third and goal series. We're talking running backs today. This is where I bring you three plays that's going to definitely be in my player pool on this week's main slate. And like I said, this is the running backs video. I got three of them queued up for you. So pull up a chair, man. Sit down. Let's talk about it. First up at the top, I'm looking for a pivot here from Alvin Kamara. Like I said uh, in my quarterbacks video, people are going to perceive this Bears defense as being bad, and it, it it is, but they've been pretty solid against the run. And they're facing a New Orleans Saints team who has not been able to run the ball effectively this year. I think it's a recipe for success for the passing game, which is why I like Derek Carr. Go check out my QB's video so you can see who I like with him in that matchup. <clears throat> so I think... I have a nice pivot from Alvin Kamara, and I'm going to say Coan Barkley at 7900 If I'm paying up at running back to get different, you, running back is rough this year, man. You want the guys who are going to get the touches. And Saquon Barkley is probably the only running back. Him and Josh Jacobs, maybe Tony Pollard, depending on how the game go, is the only backs on this slate that's going to rival Alvin Kamara for touches. Because even though the Saints can't run the ball, they're still going to try. So he's Alvin Kamara more than likely getting those. And he's getting the passing game targets. I think Saquon Barkley can actually have more targets in this matchup. That's actually my prediction here in this spot. I think Saquon Barkley has more touches than Alvin Kamara, which is why I think he's a perfect pivot from Alvin Kamara. Now, I know this Giants offense has been rough. It, it hasn't looked good whatsoever. But they're getting Daniel Jones back this week. Hopefully bring some stability to this offense. He can run the ball himself, and he can pass a little better than the options they've been having. So I think this Giants offense is, is going to be able to move the ball against this Las Vegas Raiders defense and that whole situation. Who knows what's going on with the Raiders team over there? I think you can see some success for this Giants offense. And success for this Giants offense means success for Saquon Barkley. Give me Saquon at 7,900. Perfect pivot, in my opinion, from Alvin Kamara. All right? Now your second running back. I'm just going to continue to play him. Didn't really work out for me last week as he was uh, vultured for a touchdown. But give me Jonathan Taylor in this spot against the Carolina Panthers. Listen, the Colts have one of the higher team totals on this slate. They're projected for tw right at 24 fantasy points. So there's no way this Colts team gets four touchdowns and the running game is not a part of it. So I think you can see multiple touchdowns here in this spot. It could be a two-touchdown Jonathan Taylor day, but I for sure think it, it it's one touchdown for him. It could be a most touchdown for the other one. This Carolina defense can be had on the ground, and they're facing a good Colts running game. I think Jonathan Taylor breaks one here in this spot. Give me Jonathan Taylor at 6,400. His ownership is probably going to be down because of the letdown spot last week. But in this matchup, like I said, I know it's a split with Zach Moss, but it's an even split. And Jonathan Taylor has the – he's still been getting 15-plus touches. I like Jonathan Taylor at 6,400 going right back to the well in a great spot against the Carolina Panthers here. And rounding it out, man, if you're going to need some value, for me it's only one, probably one guy this week, and it's Chuba Hubbard, 5K. On the other side of this Colts game here <clears> – <throat> 
It has the potential to be a shootout. Should be one of the faster paced games. Uh, this Carolina offense showed a little something last week, not much, uh, and beating the Texans. But they handing the reins over to the new OC and, and what they were saying that the plays are coming in faster. They have more time to audible, and it, uh, the offense is moving a little faster. So that's definitely going to help this matchup. I think the Panthers can find the end zone here. I think this offense continues to improve week after week, and with Chuba Hubbard taking over, getting all the carries from Miles Sanders, I think it's a good chance he finds the end zone here at 5K. This Colts defense is not that strong either. That's why this is a good chance this game shoots out. I like Chuba Hubbard coming back on the other side. I don't mind. I, I probably wouldn't mind putting him and Jonathan Taylor in the same lineup, all right? But there you have it, man. Your three running backs this week, Chuba Hubbard, Jonathan Taylor, and Saquon Barkley. Get you some exposure to these guys. Get them in your player pools. They for sure going to be in mind. That's going to do it for us here today, man. Y'all know the motto. Chances make champions. Y'all green up. I'll catch y'all next time, all right? Let's get it. Thank <laughs> you.